Hello everyone, you are on the Moby channel and I am very glad to see you on my channel again. Today, or rather a few hours ago, the long-awaited episode 65 was released. This time the author even started the broadcast and I watched the events of episode 65 live with you. And in this video I will analyze in detail the new 65 episode, so right now put a like, let's get 20,000 likes on this video for the long-awaited series and subscribe to the channel. We're starting. The episode begins with the sound of a police flashing light. And the first thing we see is how cameraman agents were noticed on the roof at the Skibbity Toilet Base, one of them had already been punched in the head with iron fittings, the second was very scared and raised his hands from despair, but it did not save him and an iron stick also flew into his body, then the operator turns and we see a skibbity policeman, namely he shot at our agents with iron sticks, and apparently this is a new toilet weapon, because I have not seen such weapons in them, before, also, when the camera turns, we can notice that this is the same operator in a red shirt who was saved by speaker woman, this operator also appeared in episode 55, in episode 57 and, as I said, in episode 61. I think all of you have seen this episode to the end, so you will not be surprised if I say that this operator survived in this episode, so I suggest giving him a name, I will call him Cameraman Lucky, because this is not the first time when he manages to escape in a rather difficult and dangerous situation. Further, the police officer Skibbity Toilet did not destroy the Lucky Cameraman, he just smiled at him and just flies away. Then the camera turns a little and we see the new Skibbity Toilets. One of them is an improved Skibbity Spider, because if you look closely, you can see that it has new guns, also on the right we see a new Skibbity Saw, it has huge dimensions compared to previous versions of the Skibbity Saw, after it we see the already familiar Skibbity Rocketeer. I want to remind you that the first Skibbity Rocket Man appeared in episode 44, where the Titan TV man single-handedly struggled with a large number of toilets. But this Skibbity Rocketeer differs in that it can fly and its rockets are fueled with acid, which greatly damages agents and Titans. Then the camera turns and we see the Skibbity of the Titan Scientist, then the Titan G Toilet arrives and most likely he flew here from the last 64 episodes. He takes up a fighting position with the Skibbity Toilet Army and waits for the Titans to arrive. Then the camera turns and we see how the Titan Speaker Man and Titan Cameraman arrive. Next, the operator turns to the Titan G Toilet and we see how the toilets begin to actively fly away from this place. G Toilet is perplexed by this, he turns to the Skibbity Scientist, and he just waves his claw at him, saying this, while Jimmy, then solve your own problems and then the Scientist Titan teleports. G Toilet goes into shock, but then he becomes very angry turns on the titans and activates his laser vision, which we thought he lost back in episode 47 during the battle with the titan tv man, and after all, this moment was really strange. Because G-Toilet after the battle with titan tv man no longer activated his laser vision, and now he has regained it. Jimmy starts attacking the titan cameraman, but he managed to close his reactor, he demonstrated this ability to us in episode 57 during the battle with the infected titan speaker man, then the Titan Cameraman activates his new shield, which we could notice in the last 64 episode and the battle begins. While Titan Cameraman distracts G-Toilet on himself, Titan Speaker Man starts an attack and while Jimmy Titan is distracted, Cameraman Titan manages to load his improved railgun and shoot directly at G-Toilet. From this explosion, Jimmy's headphones fly apart and the speaker's turn comes. He activates his powerful and powerful roar, which usually repels or incapacitates opponents. But Jimmy is so big and strong that from the anger that overwhelms him, he pushes the Titan Speaker Man far away and flies into the Titan Cameraman with all his reactive speed, and here we can see the frame that the Kreekrop YouTuber showed us, it looks like the author, that is, Daffigbum plans to open his Skibbity Toilet mode in Roblox and by the way, write in the comments whether you play Roblox and whether you will be interested in videos on this game. And we return to the analysis of episode 65. This moment also reminded me of a fragment from episode 46, when the vacuum toilet tried to destroy the Titan TV man, but due to the fact that TV man has sharp mechanical claws on his back, he was able to defeat him. It is a pity that the Titan cameraman did not have these claws, but fortunately he has a Titan speaker man who tried to wash off the Titan G toilet in a completely ordinary way. It's strange why he decided to destroy Jimmy in this way, because as we remember from episode 22, Jimmy Titan has already tried to wash off simple big cameraman agents, but they failed. And even though flushing the toilet does not work on the Titan G toilet, 
it was still very painful for him, because then he hit the Titan cameraman very hard and so hard that even a small explosion occurred, then Jimmy turns on the Titan speaker man and attacks him with his laser vision, from which the Titan speaker man flies far enough. And then G Toilet decides to switch to the speaker man and finish him off with his laser vision, the speaker man defends himself to minimize the damage received. Then the operator turns around and we see how the Titan cameraman has already swung his hammer at the Titan of Toilets. With one blow he breaks his jetpack, with the second blow of his jet hammer he breaks his lasers, with the third blow he deals him deafening damage and then begins to work with his hands, he just drives his fists into the face of the G Toilet, but then Jimmy turns on again and attacks the cameraman with lasers from his eyes, from which the cameraman has to stop and again activate your blue shield. Next, the Titan Speaker Man flies up and stabs him in the eyes with knives. And these are very similar events from episode 47, when the Titan TV Man destroyed the G Toilet with his radiation and the Titan Speaker Man also flew up and stabbed him in the screen. In this episode, a similar thing happens, G Toilet tries to destroy the cameraman with its laser radiation, but then the Titan Speaker Man flies up and deprives him of this ability. Next, the Titan Cameraman decides to take a good kick and activates his fire reactor. Let me remind you that with this ability, the Titan Cameraman has destroyed his strong opponents more than once. And this time he spent a lot of energy on this ability, forgetting that the reactor is his heart, this is what he lives by. The fact that he spent a lot of energy can be understood after he finished spewing flames. Or else he was scared of what they would show us in a second. The camera moves away a little and we see that there was a mechanism inside the G toilet, and inside it the Titan cameraman finds a completely different skibbity toilet. And while the Titans are trying to figure out what this means, a strange sound is heard from above. The camera goes up and we see a large number of bombs and explosives flying at the Titans. Titan speaker man manages to fly away, but Titan cameraman does not have time to do it and all he has to do is activate the shield and hope for the best. There is a big explosion, our operator flies away for some distance and then we all understand that all this was planned and turned out to be one big trap, which the secret agent warned us about in the last 64 episode. And if we recall the first battle of the Titan cameraman with the Titan G toilet, then Jimmy also severely damaged the cameraman with an explosive skibbity toilet. And history repeats itself again. Next, the lucky operator comes to his senses a little and we see how the Titan speaker man crawls up to him, one of his guns was torn off from the explosion. Next, the Titan speaker man and the operator turn towards the explosion and see a badly broken Titan cameraman, which is very badly damaged and continues to burn. He is trying to show us his legendary like, but from his injuries he shows dislike and this ends episode 65. Now let's discuss the future continuation of the series, where is the real G toilet and whether the Titan TV man will return. The details that gave out the fake Jimmy Titan were his laser eyes, because as I said earlier Jimmy lost his laser vision after the battle with the Titan TV man, it was also very suspicious that the skibbity scientist Titan left him completely alone with two powerful Titans agents, because he himself saved him in episode 60, and what if he saved him just for this moment, in general, maybe it was a real G toil, but I doubt it very much. Next, let's build theories about future episodes of the series. Now the main task of the agents will be to repair the Titans, especially the Titan cameraman, because he received very serious damage and it's even difficult for me to imagine how many episodes it will take to put him back on his feet. After all, as we remember from his last defeat, he improved for as many as 30 episodes, and then he did not have such significant damage as now. Titan speaker man should also be repaired, but its repair will take much less time and now the agent side is again left without Titans. But this has already happened to agents, and despite the fact that their titans are defeated again, they will be able to hold the defense until they recover, because they have many strong characters, for example, Glitch Plunger Cameraman, Mecha Scientist Cameraman, Dark Speaker Man, Speaker Woman, TV Woman and Camera Woman. And as long as they have these heroes, they will have hope for a good future. What about the Titan TV Man? I think it's not for nothing that the agents of TV Man and TV Woman have not appeared for more than six episodes. I will assume that their forces are aimed at the imminent return of the Titan TV Man to service. Although after his last battle, we were not given direct hints about his return, but there were definitely references to him, so I, like you, am looking forward to his return. But when will this happen? I can't answer this question for sure, but I'll assume that maybe he will appear in the next two seasons, that is, in season 22 or 23. 
and maybe even in the next 66 or 67 episodes, which would be very, very cool. Write in the comments whether you are waiting for the return of the improved Titan TV man, and also write your theories about the future of season 22 in the comments. In the next video, wait for me to analyze the entire season 21, which will include your theories from the comments. Now let's talk a little bit about the secret agent. He never appeared in this episode, I wonder where he was at that moment, why he didn't come to the rescue and when we will see him next. I will assume that he will appear in the next 66 episodes, which is worth waiting for next week. Write in the comments what you think will happen in the next 66th episode, it will be very interesting for me to read your theories and that's where I finish this video. Thank you all for watching, Moby was with you, see you soon.